Hello. Hello. And welcome to another A Gem in Orlando podcast episode. I'm Gemma. I'm Matt. And we are two adults planning our dream Orlando holiday in 2022, whether I keep saying it. Just under a year yeah, to go, yeah. hopefully. I'll be counting the months down, and you'll probably find, as you notice, throughout the uh, <laughs> throughout the episodes that are coming up for you. Um, thank you to everyone who's subscribed on YouTube. Once again, I don't know what's going on. Like, we keep dropping subscribers going then. Going up and down all the time, Yeah, it? going up and down. It's very strange. Um, but we thank you, um, and we hope you enjoy the videos uh, that we're making. Uh, we are going to be in Alton Towers this weekend. Yeah. Um, so we'll probably do a Facebook Live, I think, um, because you won't be able to get the video of the full weekend. Uh, and I may well split it into different days yeah. as well, just to make it a bit more palatable for people. Um, we are um, on Twitter and Facebook as well. And uh, my lovely friend helped me set up Instagram properly today um so do check us out follow us on instagram because we only have like two followers on there at the moment <laughs> <laughs> uh, so do follow us on that um so this week i will let matt introduce it we are doing islands of adventure islands of adventure yeah i don't know why i did that no. <laughs> <laughs> i do have no idea why i did that Universal's I? Islands of Adventure. Now, I've been before. You have never been before. No, it wasn't you? open when I was there, so mm-hmm. it's all new to me. So, yeah, we're looking forward to a lot of things, and there's been a lot of big announcements recently in regards to a specific coaster, which we will speak about when we get to that area. Yeah, that's right. Or that island, shall we say, because they're all split into islands. Um, so, we'll just Get right on and get straight into this episode. I keep forgetting to do the disclaimer, so I'm going to do it on this episode. We are not experts no, on Orlando. We have all. been a few times, but we are not experts by any means. Uh, we research everything off of in- the internet and YouTube. Um, and obviously, of course, all the universal announcement apps and, and the relevant apps and things. So, yeah, we are not experts on Orlando. But we do hope you'll enjoy our little journey as you follow us along. So, that being said, let's get started with the entrance. Uh, now, of course, you've got no attractions here, of course. No. So, but uh, the first shop you'll come to is the Port Provisions. Oh. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Dif- <laughs> I'm going to pronounce this <laughs> wrong. Um, Defoto's Exposition Photography. Uh, so, you can get, like, camera accessories and things oh, okay. in here. It's quite handy. Which I do, yeah, it is. And also, they sell Express Pass here as well. If you uh, forget to get it beforehand, although I will tell you and I will keep telling you, get your Express Pass before you go. It will save you so much more money. Um, The Islands of Adventure Trading Company, again, they said Express Pass as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, The Island Market and Export Candy Shop. Sweeties. We love some sweets. Um, You've also got the Port of Entry Christmas Shop. Now, one thing I've noticed with America is that no matter what time of year it is, they just love Christmas. Who doesn't love Christmas, though? I'm a bit of a Scrooge when I want to be, oh, aren't right. I, really? Um, <laughs> but, you know, I kind of get it. Like, you know, people don't necessarily go at Christmas and they maybe want to get, like, a my, my mum, she collects Christmas decorations whenever she goes. Mm. Um, and then you've got the Ocean Trader Market as well. So look quite a little bit of shopping as quite you go lot, yeah. into the entrance of Islands of Adventure there. So dining-wise, you've got the Croissant Moon Bakery. Ooh. which And then you've got a Cinnabon, which have you ever had a Cinnabon? No. Oh, Oh, you know how to cinnamon roll from Cinnabon? Oh, my God. I don't God. think I have, no. Oh, my God, so good. Uh, you've got a Starbucks, and you've got the Confisco Grill, and then you've got the Backwater Bar. Now, I couldn't find a menu for this, but I assume it's alcohol. Oh, yes. Um, so, yeah, so that's what you've got in the entrance. So we're going to go anti-clockwise. No, clockwise, my apologies. We're going clockwise around the park. So the next part is uh, probably one of both of our favourites and it is Marvel Island Marvel Island great rides here and one of my favourite rides at the moment anyway until I experience all the other new coasters that have been have arrived since I've not been to Orlando. Uh, My favourite is the Incredible Hulk coaster. Definitely definitely one I'm looking forward to as well. It is amazing. The theme is incredible just the whole coaster itself is amazing um definitely a must do yeah and then you've got one which i i done once and i didn't like it because it was a drop ride and you know me by now <laughs> if you've been following along with us i don't like drop rides apart from croc drop that's the only exception to the rule yeah uh this one is uh, 
pretty much a lot higher than this one. This is Doctor Doom's Fearful. Um, and the worst thing about this one is it's like it shoots you up rather than lifts you up slowly. Shoot you it up. shoots you straight up and back down at like 185 feet. Oh. Yes. I went on this. We're still doing it though, aren't we? Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to, aren't okay. I? Do it for the podcast. So when, when did you go on this then? Uh, I went on this in 2003. Yeah. 2003. Um, and my brothers came on it with me. And my brothers know that I don't like drop rides and they like to wind me up. Yeah. They were winding me up. They're like, oh, oh, it's starting now. I'm like, just shut up, just shut up, just shut up, just shut up. You know, like I was with you on stealth when I got on yeah, stealth yeah. and I was like, just shut up, don't talk to me. <laughs> But they weren't. <laughs> no, they were uh, winding me yeah. up. Um, I, I, if you like drop rides, fabulous. Go for it. Um, if you don't, not for you. Definitely not <laughs> for you. Um, and then you've got uh, another great, amazing I'm ride. I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, the Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man. I, I showed you a POV of this, I didn't I? It. it looks amazing. It is incredible. Really, really good. It's just, it, it immerses you in like... It just is so immersive. And the thing I love about Universal, it really does immerse you in the movies. Yeah. And that's what I love about Universal's kind of branding. It's like you're in the movie. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're we, we, we are really I'm looking, really forward, looking to forward to that. I'm really looking forward to that, definitely. Mm-hmm. That's a must for me. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Uh, shows, you've got the Meet Marvel superheroes. So you have people like Spider-Man and Wolverine. Oh, okay. and Yeah, all of, the, all of the Marvel characters come and say hello. Um, well, I don't know what, that, what that's about with social distancing at the moment. I think they are still doing it, but you can't like go and hug them. And yeah. obviously uh, you can have a photo with them. Um, and I think you can remove your mask when you're having a photo. But other than that, you are not allowed. You have to keep your distance, of course. So shops-wise, you've got the Marvel Alternate. Alterniverse store, uh, which is good. You've got Kingpin's Arcade, which is a load of arcade oh, stuff, okay. which could be fun. Uh, you've got the Boutique, which is all Marvel clothing and things like that. Might be saying there for the Spider-Man yeah. Shop, which is the exit shop for the Spider-Man ride. Yeah. And the Comic Book Shop. So if you are a comic book fan, definitely these shops are worth a look. I mean, even I, I don't even, I'm not even a big, huge comic book fan, but I think I just, just for the... Just for, uh, yeah. yeah, just to have mean. a look yeah, and mean, see yeah. how awesome that is. Dining. Now, I don't know if this is happening at the moment, but it did come up on the app when I was having a look. It's a Marvel character dinner. Now, my brother, uh, well, he's, he's 18 now. Um, when he was seven, they went. I didn't go that time. Uh, and they had a dinner with Spider-Man because at the time that was Logan's favourite. Yeah. Marvel character, and uh, he had a great experience there uh, because the Spider Man, the, the, the Sp- Spider Man came out and he said he had a Man United. My brother had a Man United top on, and he said, "Oh my God, I'm a Man United supporter uh-huh. too." Yeah. So that just like abs- that things like that absolutely make your day. So if your kids or even you love Marvel and you want to do that, absolutely, it's worth doing. I don't speak from experience, but I speak from somebody else's experience. Yeah. So. Definitely worth a do if you are a Marvel fan. Uh, you've got Cafe Four, which is based on the Fantastic Four. Yeah, obviously, yeah. Uh, Auntie Anne's Pretzels. Oh, they've got... The, this is like... I think... I feel, kind of feel like with Universal, this is like their Joffrey's Coffee. Oh, is it? Is it? Oh, is it the one in the Universal? There's one in the Universal. Oh, Auntie Anne's Pretzels. Oh, okay. So uh, Auntie Anne's a Follow firm those, favourite. I think. Mm. I feel like a pretzel. And then you've got the Captain um, Captain America diner. diner as well. So a few dining options there. Not as many as I thought there would be. Still I thought there'd kind of be more snack carts like geared around Marvel. You could do so much with that. There's still enough there. Uh, there. But yeah, there's still enough to keep you going there. So we're going to head round to Toon Lagoon now. Toon Lagoon. Uh, now you... It's no secret, is it, Matt? You love, love a water, a water ride. ride yes. <laughs> I'm looking forward to well, this Well, you get two for the price of one in this area because the only two rides here are water rides. Yeah. And I think when we go, it's going to be extremely hot. So I think it's going to be actually very welcoming. Um, I've been on both of these. They're great. I've not, no, I've never been. To, no. Well, you've never been no, there, have no, you? Been so there. No, sorry. I've been on both of these. Uh, the, the first one is Dudley Do Rights Ripsaw Falls, which I think is probably when we watched the POV. I forgot how long it was. It feels like the longest log yeah, flume in see, existence. It? It seems like a ten minute ride, doesn't it? It, it does, yes. Um, but really great theming for that. Oh, I love that. It's I definitely that's a must for me again. Oh yeah, but it's a must, must. Do for me too. I enjoyed it the first time I did it. And then you've got uh, Popeye and Bluto's Build Wrap Barges, which is a River Rapids ride. So oh, okay, we know, yeah. we know you love a river rapids, but you, river this rapids. one, you get absolutely drenched. Like we came off of this, me and my brothers, we came off of this 
and we were absolutely drenched like not even joking you we was like soaked to the bone <laughs> um but we dried off in five minutes because it was really hot <laughs> <laughs> so just bear that in mind dining uh oh shows sorry not not dining yet shows you've got a uh, classic comic book characters so you've got dudley do right will come out popeye might come out okay so that's fun if you like all the old cartoons and things Dining, you've got wimpies, not to be confused with the English wimpies. Oh, is it not? No. Oh, I was getting excited then. It's the cartoon character, Mr. Wimpy. Wimpy, yeah, do, you know, yeah. do you know who he is? He's the little guy with the little little green hat. hat with a flower. Green hat, was it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Vaguely, vaguely yeah, remember it. Yeah, wimpies, but they does do burgers, so oh. it kind of feels like they've stolen our wimpies. <laughs> Could be a copyright infringement, yeah. yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, you've got Blondie's. You Blondie's Home of the Dagwood. I don't know what that means. I was trying to find out what it meant, but I have no idea. I okay. don't know. It must be some form of hot dog. I don't know. Uh, Kathy's Ice Cream and the Comic Strip Cafe. Now, I remember getting some chips from the Comic Strip Cafe, and they were quite good. Yeah. So, but whether they've changed or not, I don't know. Uh, Shopping-wise, you've got Toon Lagoon Games, which is another arcade. Yeah. And we love an arcade. You've got Toon Extra, and they also sell Express Pass at that Toon Extra as well. And then you've got Gasoline Alley as well. Now, I'm just going to quickly move on to this one because this area is like literally, like this island has recently been done up um, and it's literally like one ride. There's no shops. There's no dining. Yeah. It's literally just one ride. And that is Skull Island, Reign of Kong. So uh, that is the new Kong yeah. ride. Um, I don't know whether they're going to update that for uh, the Kong versus Godzilla movie. They may put a Maybe. new storyline in because they could easily do that. They could put a new storyline in to fit in with that. Um, it's a 3D ride. Um, I've never been on it. I don't, I I don't know what do it's that. about, but I think, I, I, I think it's absolute must do. So yes, no, no shopping or no dining. There, no though. shopping or no dining. So it's literally just Skull Island. But, but I suppose if you think about it, if you were on the actual Skull Island... Yeah. You wouldn't have anything to eat. You wouldn't have anything to buy. No, you'd be too, too busy running away from it, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, very true. Well, okay, on to probably one of the main events. I'm really excited to talk about this, other than Harry Potter, the Harry Potter section, of course. Uh, and this one is Jurassic Island. Jurassic Island. So I'm going to go over the kids things here. Yeah. And there's a reason for this. Camp Jurassic is kind of a little play area and stuff, which is cute. Um, But I'm really gutted because you can't, if you're an adult, you can't go on these without a child. Now, normally it's like with rides, you can't go on, you, a child can't go on unless there's an adult. Yeah. But it's the other way around with these. And I'm a bit gutted because they look really oh. fun. Uh, it's the, Padar P uh, I can't pronounce it, Tar Pteranodon Flyers. So they're like flyers that kind of fly around the park over the over Camp Jurassic. Oh, that sounds good. And it's gutting oh. because you have to have a child to go on it. Oh, well. <laughs> we'll have to go back if and when we do have children. Um, but you've got the main event, which I have been on this one, um, and it's very good. The Jurassic Park River Adventure. Big, massive 60-foot drop water ride. Oh, no more rides. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, you'll love this ride. You will love this ride. Um, it's a great it's a great ride. I was worried that they were going to get rid of it. When I heard about the v, the Velocicoaster, which I'll talk about in a moment, Yeah. Um, when I heard that, I thought they were getting rid of that river adventure. I was like, no, it's such a good ride. Please don't. Please don't get rid of it. And luckily enough, they didn't. Um, so then you've got, of course, the main event. Um, the they one. have been doing a lot of soft openings at the moment. Um, and a lot of pass holder events for the pass holder, uh, Universal Annual Pass Holders go on it. Yeah. Uh, and that is the Jurassic World Velocicoaster. Now, the only thing that slightly unnerves me on this is that it, it does have inversions, quite yeah. a few inversions, but you don't have shoulder restraints. Now, of course, it wouldn't be open if it wasn't safe. I'm here to tell you that now. Um, but I like to feel secure. Yeah. Um, in a ride and I mean I'm sure with the G-forces and everything because the way that we watched POV and the way that thing launched I was like whoa it was <laughs> insane absolutely insane so good It the theming's excellent yeah. as well um, as always and it, we, I'm just I am even though I'm slightly unnerved by the restraint situation I know I'll be safe I think you'll be fine I'll be, I know yeah. I'll be safe it's a safe they wouldn't be able to open if yeah, it wasn't safe exactly um, but I think I really enjoy it and I think the G-forces will probably keep you in your seat as well so 
uh, shows. You've got the Raptor Encounter. You've got the Raptor Encounter. Uh, so you can have, there'll be a person that's supposed to be like a, a keeper. Okay. And um, and you you have a big raptor and they roar at you. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like quite fun. <laughs> um, and dining wise, you've got Pizza Predatoria. Can't go wrong with pizza, can you? Yes, you love pizza, don't you? Uh, Thunderfalls Terrace. Uh, I think that's been there as well. The Burger Dogs and the Watering Hole. Oh, so yes. I'm hoping there'll be some booze in the Watering Hole, but yes. I couldn't find a menu. Uh, Shopping-wise, not a lot of shopping here. You've got uh, Jurassic Outfitters, Jurassic Park Games, which is arcades. Again, they've got arcade. a lot of arcades in Islands yes. of Adventure. It's the third I've one now, isn't it? And uh, the Dino Store, which lots of uh, merchandise as well. So, I mean, this is probably one of the islands that I really really I'm looking forward to just because I remember going in there before and the theme in just being incredible um, and I'm always just looking forward to seeing the Raptor encounter as well yeah, obviously the new coaster as well yeah and the new coaster of course of course you have to do it um, so we're going to go on to the next bit which I'm also equally excited to talk about <laughs> and that is Hogsmeade Hogsmeade looking forward about this thing, oh I am yes um, this was actually built first so before King's Cross and Diagon Alley and Universal Studios, this area... Oh, it was built Hogs, first. Hogsmeade was actually built first. Oh, okay. So they, they added the other one on afterwards, obviously. Yes. Yeah. And uh, fun fact here, uh, they used to have a coaster in the old area called Julian Dragons. Um, and then they re-themed it to, like, it's the same thing. Yeah. Like, but Harry Potter themes. But because people's legs keep bashing together because you come quite close... Yeah. They, they decided to do away with that. But they put something in there that was even better. Yeah. And I'll talk about that in a moment. Okay. Um, but the first one is Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. Now, this is a dark ride. Um, it can make you feel a bit sick. It's on like, a, you're on like an arm. Yeah. Uh, an arm of four and you like do Quidditch and all oh, sorts okay. of things like that. And it's, uh, it looks amazing. Um, haven't seen many POVs of it, mainly because you're not really, you're not supposed to be filming anyway. Um, but not just that. It's very dark. <laughs> okay. It's a dark ride. It's supposed to be dark. Yep. So, yes. And then you've got, which I'm going to go on anyway. I know it's a kid's ride. But the Flight of the Hippogriff. It's a little it's a little mini coaster. Okay. But just because it's Harry Potter, I have to do are it. Are we on that, so. are we? Yes. Oh, we are. Okay. Yes, it's a must do. Anything Harry Potter is a must do. I don't care. No, I think of the, the, age, the age, obviously. Oh, no, no, no. Was. You can go. It's oh, like, I... it's like a, uh, what's that coaster? The Flying Fish in Fort Park. You know the one we walked past? Oh yeah, it's yeah. kind of like that. Oh okay. <laughs> um, and but the the coaster that replaced the Jewel and Dragons, and we are so excited for this is the Hagrid's Magical oh, yes. Creatures Motorbike Adventure. Definitely looking excited to this. Yeah, I'm really excited for this. The POV, it has such a smooth transition, and yeah. the theme in. Oh my god! Now I do believe this has a virtual line. I don't think you have ex- you can get express pass for this. You have to get in the virtual line. Okay. Um, so just bear that in mind. Um, if if you're wanting to do that, you're going to need to get on part really early and get that virtual line slot. Um, and then of course you've got the Hogwarts Express yes. from Hogsmeade. But we are going to be doing that on our Universal Day. So we're going to go to Hogsmeade from King's Cross, and then we're going to get back on at Hogsmeade and go back. Yeah. Um, again. With the Hogwarts Express, I said that in the I said this in the last episode as well. You do need a two park ticket. You need a, at least a two park ticket to be able to ride that. Otherwise, you won't be able to ride that. Okay. Uh, so shows now. Oh, you know me. I love a show. Yeah. I love a show. And we saw actually some of this, didn't we, on some videos that people were taking, didn't we? We did. The yes. Tri Wizard Spirit Rally. So all the other schools like Durmstrang and Bobaton. Yes, I remember seeing all that. Of that. Yeah. And the Frog Choir with the frogs. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. And of course, that. you've got another. Another Ollivander's wand experience in oh. Hogsmeade. So oh, you've got okay. one over in Diagon Alley. So if you're struggling to get in on the um, on the Diagon Alley side, go to Hogsmeade and see if you've got any luck there. Because uh, it doesn't matter what, I'm gonna I need to do it. Yeah, I have to do the wand experience <laughs> dining. Now I thought I really thought there would be more here, but I thought about it after that when I looked at it and I was looking at it. I was like, why is there only like two restaurants? And then I thought about it. I was like, "Well, must, there's only two pubs in must, Hogsmeade." There must, be, there must be big restaurants, though. There are, no, there's only there's only two pubs in Hogsmeade in the, oh, okay. in the books and the films. There's only two pubs, so it would make sense for them to only have two yeah. 
pubs. Oh, and obviously, of course, they are the Hogsheads and the Three Broomsticks, where you can get yourself a lovely butterbeer. Yeah. Uh, and, some, and some lovely British food, which we'll probably not partake in because we eat British food every yeah. day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shopping-wise, you've got Filch's Emporium of Confiscated Goods. Yeah. So that's when you come out of the Forbidden Journey. You've got Ollivand, another Ollivander's one shop in Hogsmeade. You've got Owl Post and Owlery. Now, this is really cool. What's this in? So you go in there and you can send yourself for postcards by Owl. Oh, okay. Uh, obviously, it's not really by Owl, but um, you've got animatronic owls and it's, they've got the details so down, down to the point where there's like loads of bird poo oh. all over the black, like all over the oh, owls. Oh, I see that. Yeah. I see that. I did see that. Sorry. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah. Yeah. And then you've got uh, Honey Dukes, which is the big sweet shop and Deverish and Bangs as well. So yeah, there's there's quite a lot to do. I mean, it's not as big as Diagon Alley, I have to say. Um, maybe that's why they built Hogsmeade first because they wanted to get as much Harry Potter out as possible yeah. while they were doing King's Cross and Diagon Alley. Um, but yeah, again, very much looking forward to this. We'll probably spend most of the time there. <laughs> we'll have half a day in there. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're going to go on. I'm just going to go straight on to this one because uh, the Mystic Island... Uh, there's not really much here, and I don't know if one of them is actually still there. Uh, so you've got the uh, show is the Mystic Fountain. Now, Logan experienced the Mystic Fountain. It talks yeah. to you. Um, and I'm going to spoil it for everybody. There's just a man in a window somewhere <laughs> looking down at the fountain <laughs> and talking through a mic. Spoilers. Just, just, yeah, it's spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Uh, and then you've got Poseidon's Adventure, but I don't know if this is open at the moment. I I, don't, I didn't see it open on the app. I didn't even see it anywhere on the app, so I don't even know if they it's still there. I don't even know if they got rid of it or if it's just a U-Rest area now. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Dining-wise, you've got D- Doc Su- Sugru's Dessert Kebab House. Oh. Um, kebab House? Dessert Kebabs. Oh. That yes. Looks, that looks, sounds nice, doesn't it? Mm. And you've got Fire Eater's Grill. And this restaurant, I've actually heard, is great for a sit-down meal. Okay. Uh, the Mythos Restaurant. So it's, uh, oh, um, it's very, it's Greek, I, th- I believe. Yeah, Myth- Mythos is Greek, yeah. Yeah, um, I believe it's Greek food as well. Oh, they've got the uh, Mythos beer in there. Um what mythos beer mythos beer yeah it's quite that, a famous that, beer that's a thing yeah mythos beer oh yeah, yeah. I imagine they do yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah I didn't even know that was a it's thing nice, nice beer oh is it yeah very oh nice. you'll be looking forward to that <laughs> shopping wise you've got star soul psychic readings okay now I just want to go in there for the giggles oh dear just for the lols okay. like just be like just to be told like I'm gonna die or like <laughs> I, I've just got this vision of like a professor Trelawney looking character <laughs> looking at me like oh the cream you're going to die no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's for entertainment purposes but I would like to see that then this is what I wanted to talk to you about yeah uh, it's the historic family's heraldry right so what happens is they've got half a million surnames yeah that you can look in and they have or they all have their own coat of arms and they all have their own merchandise and things so I don't know if they'll be able to find my surname Probably find my surname. They definitely will web, yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, probably won't find mine. Uh, we will, we'll see, we'll soon see. Well, both my surnames, my legal and my stage surname, yeah. of course. Uh, so, yeah, I really want to go in there oh, yeah, and have a look. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite interested in that. And then you've got the coin mint, which I imagine is like collectible coins. Yeah. Uh, Treasures of Poseidon and the Pearl Factory. So, yeah, that is uh, Mystic Island and uh, Hogsmeade for you. Uh, we're going to go on and we're probably not going to spend too much time in Dr. Zeus land. There's no rides really for us to do. Uh, there's, a cut, there's one I really do want to do for nostalgia purposes. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, we're going to go on to Dr. Zeus land. Dr. Zeus land. Now, have you ever read any of the Dr. Zeus no, books? No, I have not. Okay. Uh, I've read a few. Um, very strange. Um, <laughs> strange, strange person. Uh, so right here, you've got the high in the sky trolley train ride. You've got the Karazus L. Okay. Ah, oh, pun fully intended. <laughs> One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Okay, so what's that about then? This is a ride that's like Dumbo's, but you get water squirted at you. Oh, okay. As you go around. Uh, this is the one I really want to do for nostalgia purposes, or even though when my brother was little, uh, when I went with him, he made me go on this about 20 times, no joke, so I could probably still recite the whole ride. Uh, it's the Cat and Hat ride. I've heard of Cat and Hat. You've heard of the Cat I've, and Hat? Yeah. Yes, they did, they did that terrible film with Mike Myers. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, I remember that now, yes. With a terrible Yorkshire accent, do you remember? 
I don't even. Don't oh, re- bad. Oh, God, it's so terrible. Bad, is it? Um, <laughs> but I would like to do that one for nostalgia purposes. Yeah, okay. because, and then um, there's a play area for the kids as well. It's called If I Ran the Zoo. Okay. Um, shows wise, you've got the Zeus character zone, um, which you can meet like the Cat in the Hat, the Grinch, yeah. all of that kind of stuff. Oh, the Grinch, the Grinch is Yeah, the Grinch is Dr. Zeus. Did you not know that? No, I didn't know that, no. You didn't know that. Well, I'll tell you a story actually about the Grinch. Uh, when the movie with Jim Carrey came out, yeah. that was the year that we went for Christmas. So the Grinch was one of the characters you can meet. And I tell you what, it could well have been Jim Carrey, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Mm-hmm. But this, this Grinch was to a T exactly like Jim Carrey's Grinch. It oh, was wow. insane. It was so insane. It was great. Um, um, but I think now, because of the Benedict Cumberbatch version, the Grinch outfit is more... He done one, did he? Yeah, he done a cartoon version of it. Oh. It wasn't very good. Oh. Um, so, yeah. And then you've got, oh, the stories you'll hear, which is where all the characters come out and tell Dr. Zeus stories. So they'll tell the story of Green Eggs and Ham or Cat and Hat. So if you've got kids that love Dr. Zeus, great. Dining and uh, Moose Juice, Goose Juice. Do you remember this? When we watched Molly... Do the challenges in uh, Doctor uh, Zeus land, and they were re- the blue, the bl- the weird blue and green concoction. Yes, slushy yes, thing. Yes, I do remember that. Um, yeah. I just want to try that, just just to either like just for the love. Because Molly done it. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Although she's very, you know, she knows her stuff. Uh, you've got Hop on Pop ice cream shop, Green Eggs and Ham Cafe, which apparently the tater tots are very good okay. there. Uh, and you've got the Circus McGurk's Cafe Stupendous. Circus, Circus McGurk's. Stu- <laughs> well, it's all rhyming, isn't it? I know, it just made me they, laugh. With the Dr. Zeus things, they all speak in rhyme, don't yeah, they? Yeah, it just made me laugh. <laughs> uh, shopping wise, you have got Snookers and Snookers Sweet Candy Cookers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Snookers and Cookers. Where is it? Snookers and what? Snookers and Snookers, and snookers Sweet and... Candy Cookers. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it just made me chuckle now. Okay, I'm sorry. Mulberry Street Store, which I think is about the normal thing. Yeah. Um, all the books you can read, which is I imagine this bookshop would fill with Doctor Zeus books. Yeah. And you've got cats, hats, and things. Okay. Um, so you can get like this thing one and thing two T-shirts. Like, did I do? I remember me showing you the thing one, and I'm with hit. I'm with. The, he's my thing one and she's my thing two and all of that and I oh, thought it was okay. really cute so, I, so I'm so i going to be really cheesy and we're going to have t-shirts that say like soppy things on it oh okay things. yeah alright <laughs> you're like mm. no I, 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 I do that with you <laughs> And with that, that is the end of Islands of Adventure episode. So what are you most looking forward to, Matt? I'm looking forward to the Incredible Hulk ride. Mm. Definitely. Uh, the Velocivactor, the new coaster. The Velocicoaster. Velocicoaster, sorry. <laughs> Definitely looking forward to that. And I'm looking forward to that water ride. What's it called again? Uh, Dudley do Rides oh, Ripsaw yeah, Falls. Yeah. Looking forward to that as well. <laughs> Definitely. I'm really oh, looking... Sorry. One. And the Spider-Man one. A Spider-Man yeah, one. Yeah, looks so I'm good. really looking forward to, uh, of course, Velocicoaster, of course. Uh, and the Hulk, I, I absolutely love that coaster. It's one of my favourite coasters in the world. Um, not that I've been many places on many roller coasters in the world, but, <laughs> you know, the ones I have been on. Um, and I'm really also looking forward to Hogsmeade as well and Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey I forgot and to, Hagrid's. Sorry, I forgot to, yeah, I forgot to mention one, the Hagrid's Are one. Are you looking forward to the Hagrid's the, the, the as well? The motorbike one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah the motorbike sorry, one. I forgot about that. Do you but, want to be on the motorbike or do you want to be in the sidecar? I want to be on the motorbike. Okay, so you, I get to go in the sidecar. Side yeah. Well, if we get to ride it twice, we'll, we'll swap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that is the end of this episode. We do hope you've enjoyed it and we hope you've got a lot of good information from us. Um, Next week we are doing... Volcano Bay. Volcano Bay Water Park. (laughs) Oh, I'm really looking forward to this because I I truly believe that most of the time you could do a water park in half a day. But with Volcano Bay, I genuinely feel like... It's a full day. It's a full day. And I don't think I've ever had that with a water park. Ever, ever, ever. Um, so we're really looking forward to that. And we can see, actually, from our hotel, um, we can actually see... The volcano. The volcano from Volcano Base. We've got a lovely view when we're having our rest day in the pool at our hotel. Um, yeah, so, and we can uh, we can walk, of course. Yeah. Um, we can walk, of course, to that. Uh, but we're looking forward to trying all the cocktails. They've got some 
amazing cocktails from what I've researched oh, really? already. Oh, oh yes, okay. cocktails. Um, so yeah, do join us next week for that. Don't forget, follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, especially on Facebook because we'll probably be doing a, a Facebook Live yeah. Um, so if you've got any questions for us while we're on live, uh, it's probably going to be on the Saturday. I'm not sure what time yet, but keep your eyes peeled and we'll see. We will see how we get on rides wise. Yeah. Um, we'll let you know if you've got any questions for us about anything, whether it be Orlando or Towers, any, any, anything. Anything you like. Ask us, ask away, yeah. ask away. We are yours. <laughs> 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 so with that, thank you so much for joining us and don't ever forget... Get excited, the magic rolls around fast. <laughs>